I switched teams. <laughs> oh, hi. Uh, and how many sets did you pick up? <laughs> okay, we're interviewing this wonderful lady who's been on a lot of sets. So how many sets have you been on? Way too many to count. I don't have that many fingers. And what did you do on those sets? Oh, goodness. Wouldn't you like to know, huh? And have you ever had a set that you were in charge of? I've never actually been in charge of a set yet. Ooh, did I just pull a Dr. Seuss? Ooh. And that's the end of this interview. Hello, Tony the Rockstar. I appreciate your time and doing this interview with us. Um, you said you've been on lots of sets. So what is your career goal? Are you an actor or are you, are you what do you do? I'm an actor. I've done three feature-length films, mm -hmm. which means I've controlled at least three sets. I used to be, matter of fact, I got a movie coming out on the Arts Light, March the 9th. You're all invited. Oh. It's called On the Sly. On the Sly. So wait, you're an actor, but you control the set? Is that what you're telling me? I'm telling you that I do it all. Okay. In a I'm sarcastic, mean way. I'm Look just, at my eye. <laughs> I see, and I'm going to leave it at that. <laughs> so do you have interest in doing other things aside from being an actor while you were on these very many sets? I have a radio show that comes on every Tuesday at 7 p.m., and I play the best music, including the music from Sly Stone, which is what the movie that will premiere at the Archlight on April 9th is all about. Have you ever heard of Sly and the Family Stone? Sly in the family? Well, he's not in my family, but uh, I have definitely have heard of Sly Stallone. Um, <laughs> what's your favorite movie that he's done? Not Sly Stallone, Millennium. It is Sly and the Family Stone. Dance to the music. Oh. It's a family affair. It's a family affair. Once again, that's April 9th, Archlight Theater, on the Sly, 7 p.m., if you can't get a ticket, I have them. I apologize for my mistake. You've just completely embarrassed the interviewer. Thank you very much for your time. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, flip the thing so she can see it. So we can see it. Here. Can you see it? Here. Here. Right here. Mm -hmm. No, because we can see inside the room. Can I do that? Okay. All right. Go. Okay. Mm -hmm. We're ready? You ready? Uh, is rolling? Hi, this is Tony, and we're interviewing this wonderful, multi-talented young lady uh, who will tell you a little bit about some of the many things she does. I don't do nothing. <laughs> um, what about your radio show? Oh, good point. It seems like you direct. Uh, what about your radio show? I'm a director. I just tell people what to do. That way I don't have to do nothing, see? I noticed from your earlier footage you had a good eye with the camera. Your composition was unbelievable. Uh, have you been doing camera before? No. I noticed you have one-line answers. Can you give us a complete sentence? No. That concludes this wonderful interview. Oh, you know what? Here. No, but it's got to be a stand-up interview. Okay, here we go. Okay. Hi, this is Tony Chauncey again, and we're interviewing the wonderful, what is your name? You can call me whatever you want, baby. <laughs> uh, the wonderful, uh, call me whatever you want, baby. All right. Obviously, she's done a lot of acting. So, what was your biggest role? Oh, I am her biggest role, baby. <laughs> she's her biggest role. Look how big she is. 